Hello and welcome to War World. Um, it's kind of started with a cutscene rather than the title page, but essentially uh, we missed like one uh, one screen of it because I had to press the button to start recording, which you know it's press any key to continue it would seem. So yeah, the wall stretches infinitely in all directions, and its bowels provide uh, provide us with everything we need. It wouldn't be that bad, actually, actually, if it weren't for the Xyrex. These creatures attack like clockwork, so you don't want to go too far beyond the perimeter. But sometimes we will still have to make these forays. Sooner or later, the current mines are depleted. Right. The only chance of surviving such an expedition is your Robo Spider and the Wall Digger Exosuit connected to it. But even with proper equipment, not everyone returns. In fact, not even half of them do. For some reason, I increasingly want to believe that the ones who don't return have found that very edge my grandpa spoke about. Maybe his words affected me more than I thought. Maybe that's why I became a wall digger too, to find the edge of the wall. And yet the first screen we missed was basically them saying their grandpa told, told them that once uh, the will the everyone lived on the floor and it was round and there wasn't a great wall basically but yeah so yes this is wall world if you've seen a uh, dome keeper you'll know vaguely what this is if you haven't it's on the channel you should check it out we're gonna go with uh, Davos my standard username there we go and we get straight in, so this is essentially the meta progression system we can see here. So, uh, if it, again, if you've seen Dome Keeper, you'll know what this, you'll kind of know what to expect here. If you haven't, again, it's on the channel to watch if you want to get maybe an idea, or just keep watching. You'll get it pretty quick. We will be piloting a big exosuit, a big not exosuit, a big mech, a spider mech, and we're in an exosuit. And we're essentially going beyond the reaches of the town along the wall to see if we can uh, basically discover some mining deposits uh, for us to mine because the ones at the town are uh, steadily getting more and more depleted. And then, you're, well, it's basically a roguelike. It's very much like Dome Keeper, except imagine if you were playing Dome Keeper, but the mine was way smaller and your dome had legs and you can move between mines. That's basically it. And the further up or down, because you can go in either direction, the further up or down you go, uh, the more dangerous it gets. Now, in between runs, basically every block we destroy, we get this uh, resource. It's like this white cube thing that you can see the picture of here. And in the top right, as you can see, we've got absolutely nothing. Right? We've got nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I'm just going to double check the audio here. Yes, it is. Right, good. <clears throat> but we don't have anything. We will eventually get things, but this will act as our meta progression, essentially. So we can have a look. So it increases intervals between enemy waves. Spider durability. So basically 50% more health. And that's a cheap one, that. So that's definitely something we're going to get early on resource vacuum cleaner capacity so basically how much we can hold uh, is increased to 15 the plasma drill so when we break into the mine our, our initial kind of breaching move from the spot from the spider walker well spider mech will uh, breach into it more a rocket launcher that fires homing missiles a grappling hook that allows us to dash down the wall turbines that allow us to dash up the wall and then an increase to our speed so those are like the basic upgrades there are more there are a lot more the game has released them recently if you're into these sort of games or you're just curious i would just pick this game up no question currently it's on a release offer it's like on a just released special offer it's like i think like three pound sixty something it is nothing and uh, there's costumes in games that cost more than this so 
So uh, in. And we have our basic tutorial coming in here now. And then we vacuum these up. Oh, I might want to... Yeah, I dislike the controls with the controller here. Rather than just giving me... Because on a controller, you would probably want to give me a... You could just make the gun point in the direction that the joystick is, because the joystick is actually literally made for that type of aiming, and would be better at it than a mouse, actually. Like, surprisingly, this is one of the few situations where a joystick would be better than a mouse. Joysticks are way better at, like, turrets, basically. And yet they've given me a virtual cursor. I mean, it's kind of to be expected. Ooh, we've found schematics. Boosted exoskeleton reactor, drilling efficiency and movement speed. Oh, interesting. So we'll mine faster now. Oh, wow, we are mining faster. But as you can see as well, even on the blocks that don't have things in, you can see those little white bits coming out. So that is, um... That's that meta currency I was talking about. And you get it just for breaking blocks, basically. And that's how you get the meta currency. Just break blocks. We're going to use our standard... Um, what would you call it? Our standard dome keeper strategy that we would typically use here. And we're just going to adapt it into uh, this. Now we've got some resources. That's not bad. But I want all of them. And it's a short mine, so... Going back in to pick a few things up, not a problem. Um, and we are back. I actually wish as well the... Um, get off. There we go. Right. I'm going to exit that mine. You can jump into the spider at any time, go along the wall, search in search of more promising mines. Okay. Enter this mine. Disconnect. And in we go. Now so far, so basic, right? Um, the enemy's attacking waves. You can tell how how long until the enemy's going to attack by. You can probably see it at the bottom left. We've got a number of uh, little bars that are filling in there. The purple one is the time until the next wave. The green one is the health of the spot of the exo uh, the spider mech, and the uh, blue one. I'm assuming at some point we'll get some kind of energy. Now, one thing I've noticed, because I've not... This is this is my first go so far, but I have watched a few people playing this. One thing I've noticed is that the way that these mines are generated, there's typically, like, single blocks along the wall that can be mined that usually act as corridors into other mine shafts, essentially. So you always want to clear the perimeter. Right, you always want to clear the perimeter. Oh dear. I honestly I'm beginning to consider just going keyboard and mouse with this. It's gonna give me the virtual curse to aim. Because this is awful. Right. Honestly I wouldn't I mean, it's to be expected, it's a three quid indie game. But I wouldn't consider this to be proper controller support. I'd, and it's marked as full controller support on the store. I would consider this to be partial, just because of how poorly implemented the joystick aim is here. Not only that, but when you go back into this... Yeah, well, 
when I got in there, it automatically put my aiming reticle on the other end of the screen, which I do not appreciate. The thing is, I can't even, like... Oh, can I swap to mouse? Okay, if I click, I can swap to mouse. Right, okay. That's not too bad, then. I can swap to the mouse for the shooter. So, I'm going to say, it wasn't letting me swap to mouse, because I started moving the mouse, and it wasn't doing anything. But it looks like if you click, it, like, activates mouse mode. I guess, so to speak, so we'll try that next time, we'll maybe control it in here and mouse it out there, so to speak. Too bad you can't just seamlessly go between the two though. Yeah. Now we're probably not going to be able to do a second trip here looking at the timer. And in fact, we should probably head up now. Right. Yep. We're right to head up. Okay. So you'll notice as well, we've been gathering these resources. And so it's a case of, okay, well, what can we possibly buy? So. We could have, say, for example, da -da -da, gun rotation speed. 35% uh, extra damage, machine gun fire rate, and of course all these upgrades on the left are for the machine gun. You have to get the top one to get the one that it connects to, same here, you can see the little connections going between them, so you need this, need this one to get this one, you need that one to be able to get these two, and then you need this to be able to buy those two, and this to be able to buy the, that, and so on and so forth. You get the, you get the gist, it's your basic tech tree. So we've got machine gun, exosuit, and robo spider. So we can repair it for 15%. It's a very small heal. Or we can use our uh, crystals that we've got a fair amount of to increase the efficiency of all repair types going forwards. Now, that's all well and good, but at the moment... I think we want to probably, hmm, I think we're going to go for plasma cutter and movement speed. And I think next we'll go for repair efficiency and then we might buy a repair. And any moment now, the aliens will show up, or the Xyrex or something they're called. Honestly, sounds like a dodgy condom brand. Right. Well, let's show them a good old-fashioned Earth greeting. Go on, there we go. Looks like we've got a bunch coming at us from the bottom. Now. Oh, no, not, not disconnect from spider. Ah, I want to exit the mine. Uh, ah, right, so now all the buttons are different. Okay, when you start moving, it does not want to stop moving. There, it like takes a moment. Yeah, that's why it would be weird. Yeah, okay. So the movement is a bit weird, to put it mildly. And that's wasted like a quarter of my time in the mines. Because yeah, you, you don't get long between waves. So you have to be pretty uh, pretty uh, time efficient while you're doing this as well. Right, that looks like it might be it for this mine actually. Um, we can try and bring that with us because this is the thing as well this does because it's got like suction to it you can kind of balance it as long as it's only like one or two of them and bring them along like that kind of like how you can uh, if you play like Skyrim or something for example you can kind of hold an item uh, like with the in-game physics, while you're pretty much like just shy of encumbered, you can just like 
if you haven't played it, you, you'll know what I mean. We might as well exit that mine then. I will walk up a bit, just kind of try to dodge the shots. Ah, and we're probably dead here. Yeah, we're probably dead. But I'm not overly pissed. And we'll do a second run since this is our first episode. And that was very short. But you'll notice now, we've got 1,400 points to spend. So, what we can do... Let's have a look. Now, we could almost get the resource vacuum. It's a bit unfortunate, actually, but we've not quite managed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Spider Durability plus 50%. So now, we've got, um, yeah, we've got ourselves an extra half a life worth of health. So we wouldn't have died then, basically, if we'd have had this. So now, this time, we'll probably be able to go another wave before we die. Also, I'm going to be less incompetent, so we'll probably die less because of that as well. It's all good. Right. It looks like we've got two mines next to each other, yeah? Right. Now let's go and get mining. Right, so let's find the outer perimeter. And we'll go along that to start with. But of course I'm saying that and what I really probably should do. If we're going to talk about efficiency levels. How much have I got there? I think that's... No, so that's half so it'll be yeah, about five. Start going this one, just see if we can pick a few up real quick near the start. Uh, so we're getting something, okay. Here we go. Let's get these mined. If we can, if we can get just a little bit of it. Next attack wave actually. Let's go. Might actually just use the control for the whole thing. Right. Okay, so let's cut through. So that looks to be, and this is what I run about with like a single little block holding a corridor behind it. Right. So of course, just like in Dome Keeper, if a block is on the very edge, or yeah, if a block is on the edge, you'll be able to see if it's got ore in it. So if we mine around them and leave like a two by two, then we'll be able to tell if any of the blocks in there have ore, which saves us having to mine most of the innards out here. We can just kind of mine around the perimeter, then go through what's there in rows, and that should be able to kind of tell us if there are ores there, basically. Basically, we're strip mining. And I've just realised that the next wave is here and we really mistimed that. I wish there were a little notification when it got to about half rather than when it got all the way to there. So yeah, we are going to take some hits now. So that, luckily it's a se it's the second wave. There'll probably be about two or three months. No, that's more. And it's put the cursor over there for some reason. 
Now we've got the worst one killed. Right. So I'm going to have to get better at that. Keeping tabs of it. Right, okay. Actually, let's get some upgrades in. So, we can now get some efficiency. If we get one more white resource, we can get more efficiency. But for now, in fact, yeah, we'll not do anything else at the moment because we do need... We do need, indeed, to get a move on here because we don't have... Again, we don't really have much time in these mines. Ooh, that dropped four, that. Wow. Okay. And we are already full. So just like that, we're ready to go back. This is really why we need that upgrade for carrying capacity right away. And that's probably what most of the early episodes are going to be here. So they'll, they'll only be about 20-30 minutes and we'll probably just be mostly upgrading. Um, and it looks like I'm beginning to get a little bit of stick drift. I wonder if there's an option to put a dead zone in on the settings. I have to check. Right. Oh, we may as well test out the new laser. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Fortunately, we've not got much time left in the mine, so it's probably going to have to wait until they first to really get a feeling for that. Right. Let's go. We'll mine all that out next time. And we'll probably, once we've got another efficiency upgrade, I'm thinking. In fact, did we get the. Oh, we got the second one, right. I think what we need next is a speed upgrade. And we definitely want to try and go into the economy stuff first. Rather than the. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to go economy first. And then go into the attacking stuff later. Okay. And get him. Oh no, not exit mine. Enter. Disconnect. Disconnect. There we go. Right. Damn. That is so much better. <laughs> okay, let's get mining. Probably won't have enough room for all of this. So we'll try and mine it out here and then we'll maybe do a couple of trips. So we'll to try and get it all out. That'll be a new module for the spider. And we can get that alongside all the other stuff. Right, let's head out. And what we're going to be looking for here is probably speed, more than anything else. A drone that auto targets enemies appears next to the Robo Spider. Nice! Right, so let's see what we've got. Okay. Got a fair few of them coming this way. Now I'm going to start rotating the gun this way. Swing her about. Right, upgrades. Let's get some speed going. Because God knows I could use it. Okay, that is so much better. While we're going through as well, we can just clear out odd blocks here and there. 
because there's no point um, you know, it doesn't slow us down to fire this so we might as well right um, I think literally we can just do another trip immediately so it's been a very very fruitful mine this but it does kind of really illustrate the fact that we need to get some more capacity upgrades as well. You've probably noticed as well, though it's probably not going to be relevant in the first few episodes, there is a timer along the top. That's the countdown to the first boss wave. So the first boss We'll be approaching soonish. And uh, we'll put those there. There we go. And we can connect, we can upgrade. We can certainly get some speed going. And I think now we're finally looking at uh, getting maybe some weapon upgrades soon. Even be worth the rotation. Uh, 35 damage to every bullet. Yeah, we'll get that. Then we're going to save up for some repair efficiency because we'll probably need that soonish. So, the time at the top. So, it's a countdown to the first boss. Kind of Risk of Rain style if you've ever played that. Uh, kind of in the fashion that that does it. So, the longer we stay, the closer we get to the next boss, basically. So the boss is on a timer and he's coming, ready or not. Right, um, we can exit this mine now. And we can enter the next one. Here we go. Excellent, it's just a treasure trove of resources and a note. We cannot argue, ad nauseum, whether the wall is infinite, but we cannot deny the fact that 130 years ago... Dot, dot, dot. Right. We are on our way. In fact, I was just going on about repair efficiency, and it's just occurred to me that like, yeah, it was the last one where we had all that, all those green items, uh, all the green gems. We do not have those this time. And as you've probably noticed, oh yes, we are speeding through now. We are absolutely powering through this. And so much so, we can now go back to the top for the next wave. Here we go. Ooh, we're getting bigger enemies show up now. Anyway, now. There we go, get rid of the big ones. Right. Wave cleared. Let's grab these. Deep. Okay. Good for us. Excellent news in fact. Right. There's the next upgrade. And 
gotcha. Right. There's plenty more to mine out in there. So we can stick around in this mine for a little bit longer. What have we got this time? You found a bomb. Every nine seconds it, uh, we get a bomb. We can carry it down to the mine and it'll explode, blasting all the blocks that are nearby. Good stuff. Right. By the way, you... These new modules, just like in Dome Keeper, can be upgraded. So we've now got our drone system, so we can have a minus 35% spread, so better accuracy, more shots in each burst, better reload speed. We can get the blast area of the bomb, give it more damage, make it so that it produces bombs faster. Um, some of these are more expensive than others, obviously. And I think for the moment, I'm honestly considering going for some of the cheap machine gun upgrades. And then maybe we get the, yeah, get the drone system upgraded perhaps. Might be worth getting the extra shots and the better spread, perhaps. One more, we can get better spread, but... There's no point heading back in as well, but we're practically done on time. Right. Let's roll. Enemies will be incoming any second now. And, and we've still got seven minutes before the boss wave. At this stage in the game, in all likelihood, we are probably not good enough to take out the boss at this stage in the game. I think to even begin to consider taking out the boss you need to have upgraded the spider with the meta currency to have unlocked the dodge moves. It's like a bare minimum requirement. So the, the, meta, the meta progression system is almost like that of say Rogue Legacy where it's required that you get more progress made uh, in the meta system so like the upgrades between each run you uh, yeah you kind of need to interact with that in order to progress this isn't designed to be completable from the off basically um, funk ka funk and ka bluey yeah that was good eh. I mean, it does a bit, it's not a load, but we haven't upgraded it in any way. Okay, honestly, this is already more than I can take back in one run. This is already like two, three runs worth. Um, okay. Let's get a wiggle on. Upgrades, what can we get? What can we get? Um do 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 Better bullet spread or gun rotation speed again maybe or hmm. We're talking about Better stability, uh, better accuracy there. So let's do that for now. Uh, can we get another quick run through in? I'm doubtful. Uh, maybe. Grab what we can. Grab what we can. Just go, go. <laughs> More or less got there. There is a turret as well we have, so that should provide a bit of defence in the meantime. Uh, we will buy... Maybe reload system for it? Yeah. That kind of works. I think then we'll probably go with our next row of machine gun. Good. Right. Oh yeah. 
it is significantly more accurate. That turret. We'll let the turret kind of deal with the uh, enemies that are closing in down there. Right, okay. Let's smash and grab. In a very literal sense. <laughs> right. More to go. We are... Mm, we can probably get another run through this mining before we have to call it quits. Um, and suck it all up. Grab what we can. There we go. Not got long before that boss wave, right? Ooh, um, got to be damage, rotation speed again. Now, ooh, that's the point. I don't think we can actually change the. Oh, actually, can we? No, we we can't change the. Yeah, the rotation speed of. Um, Yeah, we can't change the rotation speed of the analog sticks in here because it looks like it's now moving faster than the current setting for. Yeah, cause the, it's set to the default at the moment, so I think the analog sensitivity probably needs to go up. Or I can just start using the mouse and keyboard controls, which honestly I don't mind for something like this. Right. Okay. Let's roll. Two minutes. Two minutes left in the mines. Grab everything we can. Absolutely just smash and grab. Everything we can grab. Ooh, is it a secret corridor? Does it connect to something awesome? You bet it does. Hell yes. You found a shotgun. Hell yes. Excellent stuff. Okay. Let's get the hell out of this mine. if we're using this. Z and X really on the keyboard and mouse. Weird. Okay. Get to another mine. We've got a wave in... We've got the boss wave in a minute and another wave in a moment. Right. How is the shotgun then? Okay. Not bad. Ah. Now again, I've not seen tons of this online, but I have seen those things, the weird jellyfish looking things, end people's guns. Right. Flak attack. Get them. Out. 
Get that jellyfish. Don't let it hit the sodding thing. Ow. Because there's this one enemy at the bottom that the drone hasn't attacked. Which I really thought it would and it's been preventing me from... Oh, keep going up. Keep going up. Uh, yep, yeah, keep keep going up, up, up. Ah, Christ. It takes a moment for it to figure out that I'm asking it to change direction, so... Can't really... Yeah, we're going to die here. Yep, yeah. so that's the boss. As you can see, we're going to need to be a lot better than we are now. Put simply, um, it will be necessary for us to be upgraded with several items from here. Like I said, the hook and the turbines are basically necessary to be able to dodge incoming attacks. So we will need both of these before we can beat that boss. Now, it won't take long to get. If you look, we've already got 3,000 of these from that run, right? And this, the key between runs, so I think this is like our first run and that run, what we had left. We've got enough to buy quite a few things from here. So we can purchase this. For 5,000 we can upgrade that to 20 rather than it being 15. So we've already increased it by 50%. Soon we'll be 100% more vacuum capacity. Less trips in the mine, we've seen how much time gets wasted doing that. We do need, but probably to be able to dodge the boss, we'll need the engine speed, the hook, and the turbines. So let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3,000, plus the 750, 3,750, 3, 750, um, let's see, 800 minus 200, minus, like 4,400 ish, something like that. Uh, 4,300, I don't know. Um, 1, 2, 3,000, 3,750, 3,800, 4,300, I think. Yeah, if I just do some quick maths there. We're going to need a fair bit. We're going to need more than we currently have. But we've got plenty of time to do it. We can get into plenty of mines, mine plenty of blocks, grind this out, get these. But as, as much as I'm saying, oh, it's kind of like Rogue Legacy, you've kind of got to grind a bit of a meta before you can push through to the next part. All that said, it doesn't take long. You'll notice we've got a fairly big expensive upgrade then. We've even got money to get a second one if we want. But honestly, I think it would probably pay dividends to get this early. I'm going to probably go for this. And then I'm going to go for these and this uh, in order to get to the next part. But I'm going to get this first because I think if we go economy focus early, it will speed us up later on. And we've yet to find these. I think we have to get past certain points in the game to unlock these and figure out what they even are. Uh, this though will be the first episode, it'll be a bit of a bumper episode. We'll probably do single runs in the future, so it'll be a nice little 20 minute episode thing. And that's probably how it's going to pan out. Um, like I said, this will probably be the next goal. And then after that, we're going to start, I think we'll start with the hook and the turbines, see if we can make it through then. Uh, we might not need the engine speed to get through, but we probably want it. So after we've got them, we'll probably go for the engine speed and probably be out to shell. It's worth pointing out as well that our heal is a percentage of our health. So if I'm understanding it correctly, this will not only give us more health, but our heal, because it's percentage based, will heal more. So it makes our healing more efficient as well. I'm assuming. We'll find out. Um, and once we've got all those and we're starting to go for the next boss and things, we can probably then buy some more frivolous stuff, you know, missile launchers and uh, increasing the interval between enemy waves, that sort of thing. The plasma drill, I think, is probably a worthless upgrade for the 
for the most part it's quite expensive and it's like oh it'll drill three blocks wow that saves me all of like four or five seconds i guess whoa this saves me five seconds every single wave right by the end this could have saved me after, like in that 20 minutes this will probably save me like a good 30 seconds or so i bet upgrade it a few times though and suddenly that saved you you know minutes then and where you've got 20 minutes to do this that can be significant i think that will become really good as time goes by but until then anyway that will be the first episode thank you very much for watching we'll continue in the next until then though i'll see you thanks for watching